are you, Dave? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, Dave here, one of the vehicle development engineers for Mazda. And uh, as you can see in the background, we're like in a bright red car, but with a white, <laughs> bright background. We're like in the middle of the snow here in Crested Butte and uh, Mazda's first uh, Ice Academy, right? That's Ever. right. First time. So, and we are in a um, CX-3. This is the CX-3, right? This is the CX-3, yeah. yeah. Um, with the iActive new uh, all-wheel drive system. And uh, we're here in Colorado, which is... Um, for most people who know that, it's like Subaru country. I mean, <laughs> you see those cars and you know they're well known for the all-wheel drive system, but the iActive system is something completely different, right? It is, it's, it's what we call a predictive all-wheel drive yeah. system. So most uh, most all-wheel drive systems these days are, are on demand. They'll drive two-wheel drive most of the time. Yeah. And then when, when you run out of traction on the front wheels, they'll they'll engage the rear wheels, take some load off the front. Okay, so we're in a little bit of an incline here to start with. And actually this is a good p position to, yeah. to demonstrate what it does, right? Yeah. Can you explain what is what will the system will do here so, now? So a, a typical reactive all-wheel drive system will start off on this snowy hill and the front tires will spin a little bit and then it'll lock up to the rear wheels yeah. and, and stop the spin. What we did with this car is we, we have a very sophisticated computer in here looking at a lot of data that's already in this car yeah. to figure out when the tires are going to spin before they spin. And so before we that happens, we you switch into four-wheel drive, and so we never we never spin the spin the tires in the first place. Okay, it's a much more confident feeling for the driver to not have that momentary loss of control. Let's go and start driving a little bit, and we keep talking about it. For example, there you feel it. There, yeah. I mean, you start feeling. It's but so it, slippery there. Yeah. We we're spinning all four tires a little bit. Uh, but absolutely, it just its so way right up. You mentioned there's like a, a, a bunch of systems that run into the all-wheel all drive system. There's, I understand 27. There's 20, to, yeah, 27 different signals going into our all-wheel drive system, and the really you know clever part I think is that all of those 27 signals were already in the car. We're wow. just using information that's already there. For example, I'm going around a corner right now. Yeah. And you notice when you go around a corner, if you hit a puddle in the middle of a corner, yeah. you can feel the steering get light. Uh -huh. There's a direct relationship between how much grip the surface has and how heavy the steering is. So our electric power steering system tells the all-wheel drive what we're driving on. Yeah, and that has to be like... It's constant. It's 200 two, times? 200 times per second. It's wow. calculating it's what even the hard is. to even think about it. I it know. takes longer to think about it than the, yeah, the actual car reacts yeah, to it. It's, huh? it's unbelievable. So Mazda has been always known for front-to-drive cars, zoom, zoom factor, like more sporty but this is like a new era almost for Mazda right? It, it, it is and it isn't because really what what we're trying to do with this system and the reason we developed it is, is we're trying to keep the same fun driving dynamics which just are really precise and really easy to control and you really feel like you're in yeah. command of the car and we're just trying to expand that onto more surfaces. Now if it's wet, if it's sandy, if it's snowy you're still gonna have that same confidence and the same fun. Yeah. In fact I love driving in the snow I think it's more fun than driving. It is I mean and Mazda has built here in Crested Butte a fantastic Fantastic! I don't know if we call it a facility, but it's like a, a racetrack. Yeah, it's an a ice track. Of, yeah, it's amazing. A, uh, there's a, a ranch out here that when it starts snowing, we start driving around with this construction yeah. equipment, packing down the snow, okay. and then they spray water on it to freeze it and put on more snow, and over like two months, they build a racetrack out there. It is fantastic. So the iActive system is available in all the models, uh, all the, all the fa uh, Mazda ma family. Uh, all of our all of our CUVs, so the CX3, the CX5, and then the, the new CX9 that's coming out this yeah. spring, all have the same system. The hardware is a little different because the bigger and more more powerful cars need bigger hardware. Yeah. Uh, but the software is the same. The the logic's the same. The way they work is all the same. And you said all the systems, the 27 systems that the iActive system reads from. Uh, I mean, there has to be like a bunch of engineering uh, to, oh, to yeah. create it, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. It took a long time to, to, to sort this out and, and to, to be able to take take all that information and turn it into something useful and something that can actually predict what's going to happen. So, uh, well, what's efficient. the impact of the all-wheel drive system for the mileage? Yeah, yeah I don't know the specs exactly. No, I know, one, but, but more or less, in, yeah. in, in general, so our goal, ultimately, one day, we think we're going to be able to get all-wheel drive to be more efficient than two-wheel drive. Right now we've got it down to where there's about a one mile per gallon difference. If you're driving in conditions like this, in the snow... It's not much. No, it, actually in, in the snow, all-wheel drive is more efficient than oh, two-wheel really? drive. Yeah. And uh, why is that? Uh, that's because you lose a lot of... If you're in two-wheel drive, the front tires are slipping. Yeah. Uh, and that actually uses a lot of energy. The friction between the tire and, and the ground as it slips past, okay. that wastes a lot of energy. And so uh, when we're engaged four-wheel drive, there's a lot less tire slip and there's a lot less loss there. Yeah. So we've tested our two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive uh, uh, 
cars in our uh, we have a winter proving ground in northern Japan yeah uh, and our all-wheel drive cars are more efficient there um, so ultimately one day we want to get to where we can have that same uh, thing on dry pavement right now on dry pavement you're about one mile per gallon worse um, but uh, but that's a really small penalty to compared I to know yeah for the benefits be. yeah. I mean, the benefits that you get uh, and again uh, a lot of people think about the all-wheel drive systems like only a benefit where you live in this kind of uh, places where it's kind of cold yeah. I mean not kind of cold really cold <laughs> and uh, very with snow and ice and all that but it, it also has benefits for like I live in Miami uh -huh. we never get snow well it's snow one day in 72 I think oh boy but that was a disaster right <laughs> <laughs> like this much and by noon it was gone but there's also benefits to drive an all-wheel drive system car with, on the rain and other conditions. Well, especially if it's a system as sophisticated as this, because um, I was telling you how the, the steering can sense yeah. the, the traction. So imagine you're going around a corner. This happens in Southern, we're in Southern California, yeah. where I'm based. Uh, so we have the same thing, it never, yeah. it never snows, but they always have the sprinklers going. And they, every time you're on an entrance ramp, they always aim the sprinklers so that it sprays into the middle of the ramp. Uh -huh. So you're going around a corner, and all of a sudden, pop! You're you're on yeah uh, on a slippery, slippery road. Yeah, this system at the second the front tires hit that slippery spot, it recognizes what's going on. Wow! Uh, and it immediately, even if you're not on the throttle, if you're off throttle, yeah. the engine braking can be distributed to the rear tires okay. as well, and that gives you more a more grip and it helps you stay on on your intended path through the corner, so you don't slip and, and slide out on that uh, on that wet spot. Makes sense. So. Uh, as we mentioned, we are here at the Mazda Ice Academy, and uh, we don't not only drove the X, XC3, the XC5, but we also drove the, the MX5. Yeah, <laughs> one of your favorite cars, yeah. right? On the snow, on the ice, and that was fantastic. I mean, what 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 a what an experience! Because no one would think like, oh, a convertible. <laughs> yeah, but you know what it is? The, the the joy of driving a sports car is pushing it to its limit, yeah. right? And you get out here on the snow, and the limit is so low, you can really play around at that limit without being so nervous, right? Yeah. Uh, and there's just snow banks around, so we put it on on some Bridgestone Blizzak uh, winter tires uh -huh. because the the summer tires the car yeah. comes on when it gets this cold, they they don't have any no yeah. grip at all. But you put a winter tire on a sports car like that and go out in the snow, it's so much fun to drive. What the other question that I had for you is. Um, you mentioned all the engineering and the technical aspect of uh, the new iActive system, but there's also like a Japanese philosophy behind it, which I really uh, like uh, when I heard it for the first time. Yeah, so the, the sort of driving philosophy behind the way we develop all of our cars uh, is a, the Japanese phrase called uh, Hashiro Yorokobi, uh, and it, it, it's a, it sort of translates into not not just the joy of driving, but the the, the kind of the thrill of being moved, yeah. uh, the thrill of motion. Yeah, fun to drive is something that you and I as car enthusiasts can yeah. easily understand but there's something more fundamental going on that's just the fact that you can get in a machine as a human being and and something goes so much faster than a human should be able to go and do all these things and be in complete control of it that's a really fundamentally exciting thing but we really kind of dig down into the driver's subconscious right mm -hmm. and you've got two battling things going on. Part of your brain is so thrilled that you're doing this, yeah. and part of your brain is scared to death by the same <laughs> thing, know, right? Oh my God, I shouldn't be going this fast. And and the key to making the car fun and, and bringing out that joy is making sure that you keep that nervous part of your brain at bay. Yeah. So we want to make sure you always feel like you're in control of the car. The steering feedback is telling you what it's going to do. And, and because your brain can react so quickly to what's going on, we have to be so sensitive and make sure every tiny little detail of the way the car turns in, yeah. you don't have a single moment where you, you feel uncomfortable. So right? it's the perfect balance, just like the Miata, I remember the demonstration you did with the Miata, the 55th when you put it in a balance and it's like you see the car there and it's balanced perfectly. Right. So it's the same thing more or less. Yeah, right, exactly. Good, okay. <laughs> well Dave, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we're gonna enjoy, it's a beautiful day here, it's kind of cold out there. Very no, cold. Really cold, <laughs> minus something. I mean, we're this so car. Minus three right here. Minus on the, three. On the, there you go. The cluster. Um, really comfortable in this uh, CX3. Uh, so we're gonna go driving a little bit more and uh, keep enjoying this uh, Mazda Ice Academy. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you.